Hey guys, this is Mike from Beyond the Brick. We're at South Stage number three of the Lego Masters uh, TV show production. It's the last day of production, but I'm going to meet Anthony, the producer. We're entering the Lego Masters set uh, to get a short interview. You can see there's a lot of stuff here. Right now it's between production times. We have a lot of bricks here. About three million, I think that's what they mentioned. And now we have Anthony. Hi. Would you be able to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Anthony Dominici. I'm the executive producer and showrunner of Lego Masters USA. I think we have, we're having the last day of shooting today. So it must have been a wild of an experience. I know the show was running uh, for a while in different countries now. This is my first with LEGO Masters USA. I know there's been a UK and a German and an Australian version of the show, but this is the first one that I'm, that I'm a part of. Uh, and it's been fantastic. You know, we're, ten, we're doing 10 episodes. We're uh, in the middle of the finale episode right now. And it's, it's really exciting. The, the builders are incredible. The builds are incredible. And with what they're bringing to the table each, each week is like, it's, it, every time it's unexpected and mind-blowing and it's, it's really exciting to be a part of the show. So were you before involved in LEGO at all? Are you like a LEGO fan or is that a first thing for you? Uh, I'm, a Lego I'm a LEGO fan. You know, I build LEGO with my nephew and we have a lot of fun doing that. And I've been a fan for a while. Um, just truly coincidentally, my cousin uh, is Phil Lord who uh, directed the LEGO movie. And just, it's so it's sort of, it sort of happened to be that uh, Legos in our family, I suppose, you know. That's amazing. Could you tell us, because a lot of people are not really familiar how these shows work, or like, it's a more like a reality TV show, like if you think uh, Extreme Makeover or MasterChef, that's kind of like the format, right? But uh, how, how was the process of choosing the judges for the show? Oh, yeah. Well, Will Arnett's Will Arnett's our host, so he doesn't, he doesn't really judge. He just is really the champion for the, for the teams. Uh, he, was, he was incredible, uh, and he's been incredible this whole time. He's so hilarious and fun and brings that Lego Batman personality and, and all the other things he's famous for, Bojack Horseman and uh, his, you know, his, his own show and for Arrested Development. Um, you know, he's just, he's a brilliant guy. Uh, as far as the judges, we have our Lego designers. Uh, we have Jamie Brard and Amy Cor Corbett from, from Lego who are, uh, you know, uh, huge. And they are referred to as Brickmasters. That's in right. The show. That's right. We call them Brickmasters here. So, you know, to, so to give them that sort of level of importance and they bring so much to the, to the competition each week. They make sure that our, our, uh, our, 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 our teams, our competitors are are uh, doing the best job that they possibly can and, and elevating, each week they're elevating their build and sort of helping them out to make the best possible uh, and exciting reveals, you know, that we can, that, that, that we can possibly make on the show. There's a lot of uh, people we promote that build a lot of uh, awesome creations from thousands of bricks, yeah. but this is on a whole new level. So what was your experience with uh, working with such amount of brick of product and trying to bring this production together in terms of also editing and the contestants and the actual creations? Like what was your biggest challenge? Oh, wow. I think the bricks are, are, were, were a huge challenge, you know, and trying to figure out um, how much time to give the builders to make the biggest possible creations and you know we we did some testing and we we absolutely learned from what the what the producers in the UK they were been very involved in the in the show for the UK version and the Australian version uh, uh the, we've, we've spoken to the producers and sort of taken from what they've learned and try to make the most of it our, ourselves and sort of like okay how can we make this even you know America bigger more you know more exciting you know uh in 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 every you know, how many can we give them more hours to build with? What, what kind of new challenges can we can we come up with? But they're the, the, just the bricks alone are an incredible logistics. We have literally over a dozen people like sorting bricks and figuring out what we need and all that stuff. It's it's, it's it is a lot. The team works very hard because each week there's a you know every few days there's a there's a brand new build that we have to do. The set the set is you know we try to make the set bigger as possible. We have I think it's over seven thousand minifigs here on the wall. You know, so we just try to make it as, as, as exciting and fun and big as we can. Yes, for me as a like outsider, walking into this set was was an overwhelming experience. Like all the cameras and everything, never seen like this anything like this before. Um, so with that in mind, I would like to thank you, thank you for much. doing this for us. I mean, the show will be airing in February yeah. on Fox. That's right. Um, and I think like when this is, watch guys, because if this is gonna be successful, that means we get to see more. Absolutely. of this and probably season two hopefully i'm super excited i'm gonna probably snoop around the set take a few bricks home but uh in the in the, in the meantime i would like to thank you once again thank you for uh, putting this whole thing together it was mike and anthony thank you so much for watching thank you
I have the best opportunity and the amazing experience here meeting Will Arnett. Hi, Will. Hi, how are you? You're the Batman. Yes. From the Lego movies. First of all, can you can you please say something in Batman voice, please? I don't know how. But okay. That sounded pretty good. What was like you joined the show, you have a Lego background. And what was the best thing about it? Like did you feel excited about it? Because I know the show was airing in Europe previously in Australia. Yep. And now you are on the show in the US version. Like what was the most the biggest thing that kept you exciting and seeing all the things that contestants did and all, what was that you made made you to the show? I think that, you know, I I'm I'm such a fan of Lego and being in the Lego universe for like the last almost decade with the movies this felt like the next kind of logical step when they asked me to do this and my friend Hamish hosts the Australian version of Lego Masters and I saw uh, a little bit of that and saw how cool it was and when I met with the the producers and talked about what this show could be and how it was really just about celebrating how great the builders are and all the stuff that they could do these artists I thought that's cool because it's not like a normal competition show where it's about making people look bad. This is about seeing people at their best, building Lego, which is something that I can really get behind because I've been so involved with Lego for the last 10 years. So, I just thought, yeah, this could be really fun. Let's why not? Let's see how it goes. Being a voice actor for one of the most recognized characters in the entire Lego community, but did it also influence you into working closer with the bricks in a professional way? Yeah, I mean, certainly being part of being part of the Lego Batman movies, you know, I, I didn't voice any of the voices in the in the shows, but I did the movies and that has been a really rewarding experience and super fun and definitely inspired me to be part of of this show. Uh and I think that, you know, it's just, you know, it, it's something that I didn't know that I could necessarily do when I first came on uh, and did the the first Lego movie with, with Phil Lord and Chris Miller. It just seemed it was a really funny script, a really funny idea and the chance to play Batman in an interesting way. Totally all about it and it's just something that I can kind of come back to every couple of years and do and and have fun. And you know, Lego is such a great brand my and and I get to, you know, be part of it and have it's something that my kids enjoy and so that that helps me kind of stay in it too, you know, because if I can share this experience with my kids. All these contestants are AFOs that were in Lego for years, but the show is something different. It's like showing their skills in a very limited time, most likely. Yeah. What was the thing like that really struck you when filming an episode that was like, whoa, I didn't, I wasn't aware you can even pull that off. You know, they had time constraints. You know, we had running clock the whole time when they're building these builds. A lot of pressure. They want to win. They want to win the whole show. They want to win a lot of money. They want to win the prestige of being a Lego master within the Lego community. I don't want to spoiler alert the show for sure, but. The technical aspect of it was pretty amazing like seeing how how great they are technically and on top of that how much artistry there is too really cool favorite lego set i know it's a hard question it's or maybe the first set that you remember the most from your childhood what was really something that stuck to you that brought you back to lego in your adult life you know as a kid i remember my parents went to europe and they came back and they brought me this lego boat it was a cargo ship that actually could float in the bath i remember this and that to me was like i was like this is so cool i built it and now i can play with it in the and it really works the functionality of that that was the thing that really drew me in and is and still draws me in watching them with the motors and whatever it is that you all that sort of functionality that you can use your creativity not just from building with the instructions but you can use your creativity to build something that really works that's cool that's awesome. Thank you so much, Will. Will, will we be seeing you in the next Batman movie? We, we don't know that. Like we it's, can't say. We, can't we, say. we could say it's under. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm the biggest fan of Batman, and I hope you are still in the Batman voice in the future. Me too. It's the first time it's actually on this show. It's here in the US, so I'm super excited to be here in the set. And thanks once again, Will, My for pleasure. having me. Appreciate it. My pleasure. It. Okay, check, check, check. The audio should be good. Jamie Burrard. And Amy Corbett. And uh, we are about, I think, this is the, the last day of shooting the show. Yes. Is that true? Yeah. Exactly. So I can't reveal too many details. What was the best part of being in a Lego TV show? That's, I think, the first one in the US, because the Masters was previously in Europe, yeah. but now it's like the first time being in the US TV, right? So maybe. 
For me, I think the most amazing thing is to see the creations the builders come up with because no matter what challenge we've thrown at them and we've given them some tough challenges, they always surprise us and amaze us with you know, what they can do with just some tiny bricks. Yeah, and I've loved seeing how the show has evolved because I helped out in the behind the scenes for the UK version and the German version and the Australian version. So to finally be here on the set and actually be on camera, yeah. It's so cool to see how the show has grown to this. I mean, this is a really impressive space, and we're not trained professionals to be on TV. You seem like ones. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I mean, we're, 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 in, we're leading teams in Denmark. We're actually designing the Lego products that you can buy. So to come here and have all these cameras, have all the producers, have celebrity talent, it's really a wonderful space that's totally different than our normal world. So you guys have been in this environment for a while now. Yeah. Like, but not, did, you, did you ever manage such production like this? No, no, first for me. I don't know if you have a secret. No, for me, as, for me as well. This is the first time that we've done something in this kind of format. You know, every day we're critiquing our team's work, we're giving different challenges for them to work on in terms of products, but never in this kind of environment or in a competitive yeah. series. What did you find the most amazing about the contestants you met on the show? Like, on a, I know there's a purse of contestants, and I know there are like a -folds. I'm familiar with a people who yes. build a lot of amazing things, but did they like step a bit more up for the show? Did you find something that was truly amazing that you noticed? Most definitely. I mean, they have so little time to build the amazing things that we're seeing. For me, it's the time that really highlights something special about these people. When you're given a challenge on the spot, and then you only get nine hours to build an epic model, I have to say, I'm impressed every time that they get something done. For me, I think it's the passion, the energy and the love for the Lego bricks that the builders put into every single creation they make and that's something really special. Of course we love the Lego bricks, but to share that love with so many contestants in one room, it's, it's really nice. We have not much time left, but I, I have to ask you this one question I ask every person I interview. and like. Your favorite Lego set or the first set you ever had? I know it's the, the I, I had I had me asked that question, but I have to, our fans demand answers. I'm, I'm rather fond of Lego Technic, so I have to say the Technic Excavator from several years ago was so cool. I bought three of them. That's impressive feat. I, it's, and so I know this set very well. What about you? Oh, I'm a real Lego Friends girl, and I wish that it was around when I was growing up. So I think Olivia's house. You know, one of the first LEGO Friends sets that came out has to be my favorite. So many nice details, and I would have loved to play with it as a little girl. I still love it now. Thank you, so guy you guys, so much for this short interview. We're going to be wrapping up because they're starting production. Thank you so much Great. for having Pleasure me, and uh, best of luck in the... February 5th. <laughs> February 5th on Fox. February 5th, perfect. February 5th on Fox, and Mike's out. Bye, thanks. Hello. Brent Benedetti, the supervising producer. And Christian Heaton, also supervising on uh, Lego Masters. And you guys will give me a short tour of how a set like this looks like, how it works, and maybe a behind the scenes. So I'm giving away the mic right now and hope it's going to be awesome. We'll do our best. Um, so we're standing in the brick pit of the Lego Masters set right now, and we have over three and a half million bricks available to the contestants to use for each build. Yeah, and uh, of the three and a half million, there's over 2,500 element types. So from heads to plates to bricks to tiles, we've got everything here. We really want them to be set up for every challenge so that they can be successful, create really epic builds, and, and we try and give them challenges that are pretty difficult. And I think with this brick pit, they're able to handle it. Absolutely. Uh, we have challenges that range anywhere from as little as an hour up to 18 hours. So uh, it, there's a, quite a span uh, on the show. Yeah. You want to see some more of the area? Let's uh, take a tour. So this is our Lego Master set. Again, that's the brick pit. This is where we control the time for every challenge. It's normally cleaner. So this is where we set the challenge times and uh, make sure that everything is running fairly and on schedule. Um, so one of us is always positioned here so we can be available to the clock and to the teams when they need us. Yeah. And then we have the uh, backstage area here as well. So you saw the onstage brick pit. Uh, backstage brick pit, which corresponds to everything you see on stage. Uh, we have over 150 linear feet of shelves uh, stacked five bins high. Uh, every brick type multiple colors, you name it, we've got it. 
Um, and we have a team of, as Brent mentioned, 12 people who help uh, keep this together and keep it organized, which is a constant battle uh, to, with this many bricks to keep it going. Let's go see the team. So they're, like Christian said, 12 people. They work 12 hours a day, five days a week to keep up with the builders to make sure that they're set up and uh, succeeding on set. Here's a few of them here, hard at work. <laughs> <laughs> this is Emilio. He's actually in AFOL, and he helps us test challenges as well. Emilio, you like your job? Oh, I, I love it. I mean, I, I kind of have to at this point. <laughs> We're all like kids in the candy store. We're all big fans of LEGO, so this is a, a fun opportunity to work on a show like this. We'll show you the outside team that's taking apart sets. Uh, we provide uh, binders to them, so they have a key that basically tells them where what's in each drawer, every type. We have photos, we have reference to everything here. So every team has that and we keep these back here as well so that we always know where to find things as well. So outside we go into the real world. So this is our outdoor area where our teams are hard at work sorting brick all day long. Uh, this is Casey. Hello. Casey's like our lead man out here. He kind of knows every part by this point. Did you love Lego before? Uh, I was... Not in love with it, but now I am very in love with it. He's taken a master class on Lego at this point, right? I have, I have, yes. Crash course. Uh, and this is Elliot. Elliot's actually another one of our testers. So he helps us on set. Whenever we need to test a challenge, we can throw it his way. He's an adult fan of Lego himself. So um, you want to tell him about testing a challenge? So basically what we do is all the challenges uh, that they've done so far um, on this season, we've, uh, as, as testers, we would go through, um, pretend basically like we are in those, uh, those competitors' shoes, and we would go through that, you know, have the same amount of time as they would on the floor, and just kind of test it out, you know, see what um, challenges and difficulties we face going through. Um, and then kind of passing that on to, you know, Christian and Brent here and uh, passing that on up, you know, to get a good idea of exactly what the competitors would face uh, ultimately. Yeah, so with that information that our testing team gave us, we're able to sort of make the challenges more difficult, give them more time if they need it, whatever we learned from those challenges, like helps us make sure we have the best challenges when you actually see it on television. I'm Brent Benedetti. And I'm Christian Heaton. And we're the challenge team here at LEGO Masters, so be sure to tune in. Uh, it'll be February 5th on Fox. Uh, we have 10 episodes of LEGO Masters. Very exciting. Great, uh, great content. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Don't miss it. And that's it. So this is the LEGO Masters set. Uh, it was an overwhelming experience. Thank you so much for having me. From me, I think it's going to be really cool to see um, the actual finished product, the episodes that will come out in February on Fox. And I will just remember my, my time here in the set and see how the contestants do, because we don't know any information. It's still confidential as of this recording, how the set will go, how, how the show will go, and who will win and everything like that. I know only that they're filming the last episode, the finale as we are here in the studio. So it's super, super secret stuff. It was Mike. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and do all this stuff. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.